Well, 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 looks like somebody has been paying attention to my videos, or maybe there's other YouTubers out there that's saying the same thing as me. So, I know you're probably wondering, I, I made a couple of videos bashing Brandon Tatum, the officer Tatum, and his cult has been coming after me hardcore, but I think a lot of it's funny because, like my cousin says, a hit dog will holler. So, the fact that they're getting so mad at me means I must have said something right. But I'm openly critical about this man because he has, uh, he has a, a following. He has a cult, all right? He has a platform, and people listen to him. And listen, don't get me wrong. I'm all about black people being successful. Even if I don't like you, because you're a black man, black woman, I want you to be successful. That, that's just what it is. This man has a platform. People listen to what he says, and I feel like he's been using his powers for evil. Now, my, my criticism about Brandon Tatum is that he spends most of his time, most of his intellect, defending the actions of police officers, wrongdoings, and criticizing us black people as being thugs, animals, whatever it may be. I don't know if you ever call us animals, but that's the way he that's the way it comes out. Like his aggression is so like directed towards us in a negative way. And it's like, damn, you know, you, you make a nigga almost want to be ashamed to be black. That that's that's how bad he talks about us. And you're probably saying, Rashad, why do you still listen to him? Why do you still click on him? That's a good question. Probably because this is probably what, what the strategy is. Okay, if I can piss people off, people will watch me. And it's working because I still watch him. I watch because I want to see what crazy shit is going to come out of his mouth on certain topics. Because he is so out there with his criticism on us that I, I just want to see, I just want to hear the, the ridiculous shit that he's going to say and how he justifies shit. So he made a video just recently, that's why I'm making this one, he made a video recently about Chicago, about what's happening in Chicago, and we all know when it comes to the Black Lives Matter movement and the police brutality against black people, first thing motherfuckers want to say is that, well, you know, there's more black on black crime than anything, and then what about Chicago? Those are the two things they bring up. I address the black on black issue, but I'm going to say it again, they like to bring that shit up, and yes, there is black on black crime. There's also white on white crime. There's Asian on Asian crime. There's Hispanic on Hispanic crime. All right. Every race kills each other. So why is it that we are the ones that are pointed out? And when when other black people say when other when there's other black people that say, well, there's more black on black crime. We kill each other more than anything. The, the way I take it is that you're giving a pass to us getting killed. Well, black people kill each other anyway, so it's okay for the police to kill them. That's how I'm registering it. And that's probably how a lot of people are registering it, especially uh, people of another race. Well, black people kill each other. Let me tell you, um, real quick story. And this is not about a white person. Uh, I have a neighbor, Mr. Jose, who fixes on cars. And I needed my car fixed on. So I asked him, I said, Mr. Jose, can you fix my car? Mr. Jose thought I was Puerto Rican. <laughs> I guess because I look Puerto Rican. Mr. Jose was so open to help me. He was so he was so happy to help me because he thought I was one of his own. And with that being said, he got real comfortable talking about how he feels about black people. Mr. Jose told me that that every problem that happens around here is because of black people. Now, I stay in the hood type area. This isn't the hood of the hood, but it's hood enough to where if you if you come here, you'll say it's hood. Mr. Jose said everything the bad that happens around here is by black people. Mr. Jose says those fucking animals, they kill each other. Mr. Jose told me that he has a granddaughter whose best friend is black, and he's scared for her to go over to this black girl house because he has, she has an older brother that would probably rape her, okay? So the, the, the general perception of black people is that we're loud, we're aggressive, we're angry, we're emotional. We, we like to play the victim. That's the, the general perception that this country and other countries and other, other cultures have about us, including Africa, where we come from. The black American, that is a stereotype. When you have other black Americans get on a platform like a YouTube or a Facebook and they openly mock their own people, they have other races laughing at them. Yeah, hey, well, see, this came from a black person. Even he says black people do this shit. So it's okay. Brandon Tatum... Brandon Tatum falls into that category of, to me, self-hating brothers who just talk shit about black people. And that's my problem with him. But listen, a Brandon Tatum and Candace Owens, these are very intelligent people, man. And in a way, even though I can't stand the shit that they say, in a way, I do admire them because 
they have that 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 it factor where people listen to them and they follow them. So, like I said, use your powers for good. So, Brandon Tatum in this video addressed Chicago. And I said, oh, here we go. Here we go with the buffoonery. But no, he wasn't on no self-hating black shit this time. I was shocked. That's why I said, I don't know if you listen to me or if there's anybody like me that that um, speaks against that shit. You know, like, I made a video about Chicago. I made a video about, like, what, okay, what, what's the solution? Okay, you, you're given the problem. You're given the problem. You're given what's wrong. Okay, what's your solution for it? I thought he was going to just bash Chicago, bash Black Lives Matter, bash black people. He gave the facts of what's going on in Chicago, and then he gave a solution. Shocked the fuck out of me. That makes me feel good because he has such a big following. People might say, okay, well, you know, yeah, let's, let's donate money to Chicago. Let's donate money to the state and, and you know, get, get these programs, get these youths off the street. You know what I'm saying? Help, help, these, help these people in Chicago. People will listen to that. So for him to do that, I have to, you know, call a spade a spade. I'm not going to be the type of person that hates somebody no matter what. All right. So I know a lot of people hate President Trump. I'm not a fan of Trump. But at the same time, if Trump does something to help black people, I'm all for it. Because when it comes down to it, my first priority is my fucking people. That's the black American. My people is my first fucking priority. So if you can do anything to help us, I'm with it. I'm with it. All right. So with Brandon Tatum saying that, this is probably the only time that I agree with him. It may be the only time I'll ever agree with him. I don't know what changed. I don't know what kind of day he had, but he, for once, did not fucking bash us. He, did. He for once, did not call us out our name and give people a reason to fucking hate us. And you can say, well, he's just presenting facts. Fact, okay, you can present facts all day, but if you don't present a fucking solution, that means not only are you presenting the facts, but you hate us because of these fucking facts. I'm getting passionate about this because I... <laughs> I just, I just am, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, I live in the world. I don't have all these fucking numbers. I don't have all these statistics and numbers and data. And I don't have all that. And who's to say this, that those numbers are even real? Who says they're real? Where are you getting these numbers from? I don't have all the fucking numbers, but I live in the world. I see what's in the world. I see. I may not have the numbers, but I see it. A number can't tell me shit if I see the shit every damn day. So... He gave a solution. That's what I'm talking about. Stop fucking bashing us and say, okay, this is a problem. This is what's going on. This is what we need to do. That is what we need to do. And I did see a video with Candace Owens who she gets under my skin. And But Candace Owens, uh, I, I did see a video where she did present a solution as well. But the main things that people always like to throw up, black on black. They like to throw up, well, because there's no fathers in the home. They like to throw up uh, Chicago, like that. That that that's their that's their go tos whenever this shit comes up. I'm gonna still say Black Lives Matter because, like I said, my priority is my people first. All right, America can take care. America been taking care of itself for years. It's Black America that is struggling. It's Black America that has no fucking unity. That is so divided. Okay, you have your black militants, your coons. You know what I'm saying? Your ignorance. We're just all over the place. I just want to see a day where we all come together. Despite the fact that we have different opinions. Come together and let's get, let's get an overall solution. Let's solve this shit, man. So, yeah, I'm going to give props where props is due. I like this video that Brandon Tatum did because he did present facts and did, he did present a solution. And that's what people need to listen to. Take these platforms that y'all have, because look, he's more successful than I am. I know people listen to him more than they listen to me, and it's okay. This is my channel. I give my opinion. If you want to listen to it, cool. If not, then, hey, it is what it is. But as long as I have my channel, I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. I don't give a damn how many thumbs down I get, all right? This is my shit. You clicked on my face. I'm going to give props what props is due. Now, he could make a video tomorrow where it's going to piss me off and I'm not going to agree with. Cool. But today, right now, today... I like what his brother said. And even though he doesn't identify as black, he says he says he's brown. He's not black, he's not African American, he's brown. <laughs> and he has a white wife and you know, uh interracial kids. But hey, to each his own hey, look, what, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your twinkie, man, go for it. But I did like what his brother said today, y'all. So uh now, comment freely below. What's your solution? 
Yo, don't just attack and give your well, black, black, black people do this, more black people do that. All right, what's the solution? What's the solution, y'all? Give me that. All right, so um, if you like it to the content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. Thank you all for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.